Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you guys wanted a haul video when I posted a couple snaps and Instagram photos. So basically, I had been on a no buy since I've been back on Europe back on Europe, back from Europe, and I have been running around Orange County in LA a lot. My mom's in Orange County, so I've been seeing her a lot because of things, and they have a really nice Sephora, and I did a little bit of damage. A little, that's a, th this is like one of the biggest Sephora bags I've ever had. Also, I went to Ulta yesterday and picked up like a ton of palettes because they had all the palettes I wanted in stock, so clearly I have a shopping problem, and Doing a no-buy for like four weeks doesn't help the situation. <laughs> Anyways, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. This way you can see all of my videos and it's completely free and supports me. I really am trying to hit 30,000 soon and I have all these things I want to give away, but I wanted to do like a big giveaway when I hit 30,000. So please subscribe if you're not, but you watch my videos. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like haul videos and also don't forget to leave me a comment with any information that you need or if you would like a specific video also let's move into this haul move into the haul right move into the haul I don't know I'm feeling weird I it's really early I'm filming earlier than typical that interesting but I thought I would try out the Shiseido facial cotton pads these are like cotton rounds but squares and I hear really really good things about these they're a hundred percent cotton they're supposed to be really soft so I will get back to you on if it's worth spending about nine dollars on cotton pads now I was very skeptical about this and I watched two videos one from Tati and one from Ivy here on YouTube Tati really really thought this was impressive and Ivy was like uh, it's the original makeup eraser. This is supposed to erase your makeup with just water. I do have to wash this before the first use and then you like put, dip it in water and it's supposed to remove all of your makeup. So let me know if you guys want a first impressions on this or a review on this or if you rather just have a blog post or something. Let me know what you want on any of these products. The next item is a very expensive shower gel, and the reason I bought this, or shower oil, excuse me, is because of Kathleen Lights. She raves about this, and I also know, like, if Kathleen says that a higher priced item is worth the splurge, I feel like it really is worth the splurge. She's a very budget aware beauty YouTuber, and I really respect that from her. Like, she doesn't want to use products that are so expensive that you guys can't afford. So, this is the La Occitan. Leoxiton, please correct me, shower oil and it's a cleansing and softening oil and it smells really really good. I smelled this and I was like, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a very fresh clean unisex smell which I'm very very excited. It has almond oil in it which is probably why I like it because I love the smell of almond oil. Weird right? Totally weird. I got this new brand, and I'm going to say it wrong, it's called Airborean. It's a Korean skin therapy brand, and this is new at Sephora. So I picked up two items. It, the first item I got was the Baby Skin Effect Makeup Care Face Cream 5-in-1. So this is a BB cream, and it has a pretty decent coverage. It has a physical SPF of 20, so that's nice. And I got the Airborne Korean Skin Therapy Solid Cleansing Oil. I tried this on my hand and it was really, really nice, so I'm quite excited about this. And it kind of looks like green jello, but it's a solid and once you like work it into your face or your skin, it turns into a nice creamy oil. And then obviously you wipe it off or rinse it off. So I'm quite excited that Sephora is starting to carry more Korean or Asian beauty brands because it is hard to find in the US. Basically, I've been watching Carla, my friend, here on YouTube. She just got a new camera, so she's been posting more YouTube videos. She has an amazing blog called Fashion Maven Mommy, and she has a YouTube channel now, which I will try to remember to link in the description box. She doesn't blow dry her hair anymore, and I rarely blow dry my hair. I only do it if I need to go somewhere, and a lot of times I still won't blow dry it. I'll just go out with wet hair. 
This is the B, uh, Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It hair styler for great hair days without the heat or hassle. This is supposed to be a great way to add texture and tame your hair, but also like just an all-in-one product for when you're not going to use a blow dryer or any heat styling tools, which is perfect for hot weather, perfect if you're trying to give your hair a break from all that heat. Again, another Kathleen Lights kind of pickup was the healthy deodorant from La Vanilla and and this is the vanilla coconut deodorant. I tried the vanilla one and I smelled worse than if I wasn't wearing any deodorant. And I tried it for a good solid like month. Here's the thing, I've been using natural deodorants since 2005 or 2004. Well, it's not that my body isn't used to natural deodorants, it's used to it. I use the Crystal Rock one and I've and for quite a few months now, I've been using the Wish Wipes, which are also all natural. But the Wish Wipes, I feel like, are a little wasteful because there's so much product still on it, on the wipe, and I have to toss it because it'll dry out. And I go through a box a month. I've gone through like five boxes now, and I just wanted a solid to kind of use on a daily basis. But Kathleen explained that the vanilla coconut made her smell less. Like you, she wouldn't smell with the vanilla coconut versus just the regular vanilla one. So I bought the regular vanilla one. That did not work for me. So I picked up the vanilla coconut one in hopes that it will work for me because I really think it's more important to not wear all those chemical and uh, cancer causing products right there where it's going right up into your pores and right into your glands. I also picked up the Pure Vanilla, the Healthy Body Butter, it's instant hydration. Essie Button was using this and that's why Amelia Liana bought it and then I believe Kathleen bought this too so I'm just like I need to try this because apparently it smells amazing and it's very hydrating. I actually bought the vanilla coconut one for my sister and gave that to her already. I exchanged the shade because I felt like the light medium was too dark for me but this is this Stilla CC color correcting cream with broad spectrum SPF 20 this has a physical SPF as well it's color correcting and it really is amazing because it comes out green and it morphs into your skin it's like magic I love this so much but I wanted a lighter shade so I exchanged it for the light and I saw this being used a lot on Rachel Talbot's channel and I'm a huge huge fan of Rachel Talbot. She is such an inspiration as like a mommy, as a wife, and just as a lifestyle channel. So I really love her and I love her effortless style, her effortless makeup. So I picked this up. I love 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 this on a daily basis and just using it to like just put it on and go. You don't even really have to powder. It's hard to find though. You can find it on Stilla's website, but you can't find it on Sephora's, but some Sephora's carry it, so it's really bizarre. But I really like this. I hope they're not discontinuing it. I've been really into Stilla lately because of that CC cream, and I decided to pick up the new Stay All Day Bronzer for face and body, and this is in the shade Light. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous, and you're getting quite a lot of products. I bought this really because I saw Marlena from Makeup Geek talk about it, and she really liked the powder, and she thought it was a good value, so I thought I'd pick it up, and yeah. I also picked up another Buxom palette. I have the Dolly was Wild side, which I really, really liked, and I thought this was really fun to play with. This is the Pastel Persuasion eyeshadow palette. I'm quite impressed with the eyeshadows. They're very pigmented and creamy, not powdery whatsoever, and you can build your own or you can buy the pre-made ones, and this one was just really pretty. I thought it was really fun, and I could do something different. I picked up the Full Metal Shadow from YSL in the shade number four. This is a really pretty liquid shadow and it kind of reminds me of the Josie Mara and Coconut Water Cheek Jellies. They finally had my shade in stock and it is the Cover FX Blemish Treatment Concealer. This is in the shade Neutral Medium and what I like about it is that it does have salicylic acid and it does have a coverage. Okay, moving into some Ulta stuff. I did a lot of damage at Ulta yesterday. Basically, I vacuumed my mom's house and I was tired. I was like, uh, I'm going to check out Ulta to see if they have 
the palettes that I want and they had all of them so what did I do buy all of them I I'm I've got problems the first one is I went in there to specifically get this one because I knew they would have it is the Too Faced love palette I love Too Faced and I just think they have the most adorable packaging and they're Orange County based which makes me really happy so the case is just to die for it's so so cute it looks like a love letter and it's plastic so it's nice and sturdy but the shadows are so gorgeous they are just so bronzy and summery and beautiful but I can definitely see myself transitioning into fall with the plums and the greens and bronzes the next palette I picked up is the Anastasia Shadow Couture World Traveler palette and this is just beautiful. I didn't know if I was going to get it but then I saw it in person and I was like I have to get it. So the packaging is quite nice. It's got this like little uh, textured cardboard feel to it and then you open that up and look at these colors. These are just so stunning. And then these two. So Makeup Session on Instagram and her blog has been raving about the Pro Metals palette and I was like okay I'm gonna go buy it because she's killing me. She's killing me here and if you don't follow her on Instagram you have to follow her on Instagram or read her blog because her photos are just the most beautiful things ever and this is the Pro Matte or Pro Metals. This is so so gorgeous, so creamy, so stunning. Oh, and I love the packaging because it's like the tiny packaging. So pretty. And then, because they also have the mats there, I was like, I have to get the mats because this is like the perfect matte travel kit. Not that I would ever travel with just mats because I would always want some sort of shimmer to go on the center of my lid at the very least. But this is just so beautiful and they totally got me. Like, oh, oh, right? I don't know why I needed this since I have Pro 1 and 2 and the Mega Pro. I just, Lorac makes the most beautiful, soft, creamy, pigmented shadows ever and these just, I had to get them. I don't know what's wrong with me. What's wrong with me? Lastly, I picked up an IT Cosmetics Tightline Lash Full Length Black Primer and I saw Wayne Goss talk about this and I just was like, I have to try this. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel up over here. Check out all of the cards linked up over here. You can see all of my playlists and videos that I think you would enjoy because you watched this video. Don't forget to check out my last video over here. I have it annotized you can check it out or you might enjoy some of the other videos that I suggest in the description box all the products I will try and find for you and link in the description box below please please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up it really helps me out and I love to hear your thoughts let me know in the comment section if there's something specific you want to review on or if you have any questions I've been like putting off trying all this stuff until I could get a chance to film it for you so now that I have filmed it I will be playing with this stuff and I will probably have some answers for you if you're curious or if you have any videos specifically that you would like me to do tutorials reviews things like that let me know I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next time bye